I'm Selena Hughes, and I'm in Encino, California today for the first annual celebrity softball game for the Dee Dee Jackson Foundation. I think my mother will be really proud. Um, my mother Keep touched going. so many Keep lives. Don't stop. Still today, after 20 years of her passing, of I hear people numbers. tell me how they knew my mother and she was a great person. I mean, we're playing on a field that's been dedicated to her for over 15 years. So um, I think she'd be proud that we're trying to carry on her what she kind of started. And, and I think you have to go through all those stages, you know, they have to go through, there's winning, there's life and there's loss, you know, and, and life and death, and our society does such a good job of celebrating winners, you know, if you win a champion, we're all over the champions, but there's losers too, it's, it's part of life. So, um, what I would suggest is, is to, to talk to the kids, um, talk to anyone who's dealing with loss, let them get their emotions out, let them get their feelings out, because if you don't get it out, it'll stay bottled in. And I'm one who never went to therapy. And I, I know I don't, I didn't want to go to therapy. Okay. So, but there's still ways to get that type of therapy by talking to someone you love, someone you trust, a family member, a father, um, or even, or even a dog. You know, even a pet can be huge. So, it's, it's, it's part of life. And as I said earlier, it's a part of life that we as humans tend to sh shut full away or to shut out is dealing with loss. But it's part of life, so we're trying to bring more awareness to that as well. I'm going to be on the field. Uh, I, I've been playing baseball since I can remember on this field. Actually, my mom started the t-ball here because I was demanding to play. Okay. And that was, what, 20-something, oh, 30 years ago. So um, I'll be on the field today. I wouldn't miss it for anything. I think for, for me, it's just, you know, I know with our grandfather, he just wanted to keep it going. You know, whatever it is, keep the legacy alive. It doesn't have to be music, just whatever in terms of if it's giving, if it's, you know, just keep that name going in a way because they have created something for us and passed down something. So whether it's stories or whatever, just keep their memory alive is the most important thing for me. That's what I'm going to do with my grandfather. You know, make sure people know the real him. Ooh, the power of music, I think I've always known just because I grew up around it, um, especially gospel music. Uh, music touches you in different ways and gospel music is really just a healing sort of touch. And so growing up around that, hearing things that would always just settle me or inspire me, um, music has always been powerful to me. Never stop. Never stop. You you will absolutely get no's along the way, but if this is the passion and purpose that God has put inside of you, he's going to make a way at the right time with the right people. So keep going. Always be ready. And um, whenever you have really worked on something, when the opportunity comes, you'll be ready to take it. So don't stop. Um, you know, I didn't get to spend a lot with my with, with my granddad. Uh, I, I was raised by my grandmother, so um, so I got to spend a lot of uh, uh, my upbringing with her. So you know, you know, even going through her situation, um, you know, her life was to come to, to to Alzheimer's. So obviously, it starts out with with dementia and it progresses. They get older. Um, so for me, you know, I always try to tell people that are going through something similar is try to remember the good times, you know, um, because if you focus on the negative or the down time, the sad times, you're going to make yourself uh, pretty much an emotional wreck. So that's what I did, you know, understanding and becoming more knowledgeable about the disease. It's really um, that to, to really just kind of enjoy the good times and the memories that, that, that you've shared with them. And I think that's the best way I'm sure they would want you to, uh, to celebrate their lives. I'm getting ready for my Hall of Fame induction in Chattanooga um, next weekend. Right now, I'm being very entrepreneurial, uh, understanding uh, really kind of the opportunity that, that the NFL has afforded me uh, off the field. So just really trying to branch out and do a, do a number of things. They're all gone now, so I, did, I didn't lose them as a child, but I understand the impact that you have on a child losing parents and grandparents and anything like that uh -huh. uh, relatively, yeah. It's a huge adjustment. I didn't take that for granted at all, being mm -hmm. blessed enough to have like my whole family with me growing up. I got funny ones. Funny ones usually involve me getting a whooping. Funny now, but like they weren't funny back then, but I'm thinking about why I got them. So those ones, 
or my grandfather used to always take me on bike rides mm -hmm. uh, like all of us like we it would be like five six seven of us all okay. my cousins we would hop on a bike and, and he would just take us around um, Detroit like seven mile uh, out of drive and just ride around so it was, okay. it, was, it was a lot of fun 